Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Alexis. I'm just a really short girl with a really big laugh talking about a bunch of random stuff that I love. So as I mentioned in my other videos, I wanted, I've been wanting to talk about my pins for some time now. And today is finally the day. So I'm not just gonna talk about a pin or two. I'm talking about all of my pins. They're usually on the wall, so but but right now I have them set up right next to me. So you can take a little glimpse, a little look at what they what they look like right now. We're gonna go through them individually. You'll see how much money I've put into them and please don't judge. <laughs> These are my favorite pins. They're from places I've visited, animes I love, cartoons from nostalgia, and I would not trade them for the world. So let's not wait any longer and let's just dive deep and get right into it. And just to let you know, I'm wearing my favorite Reptar socks just for the occasion. You'll see right now with a pair of pins that I have and you'll know exactly why. So usually I have my pins up on my wall, but I decided to bring them down today that, we, that way we can take a closer look as to what type of pins I have. But this is usually how I have them set up. I kind of like it. These boards were actually a gift from my boyfriend. He, I don't know where he bought them. I'll ask and I'll link it in the description because I think these are so handy. You can put them together and closer, which is what I love about them the most. You can put the pins, the pin boards really close together, which is what I love about them the most. I think, I think that they look so cute. I think that they look really good. For something, I'm pretty sure it didn't cost that much for these boards, but the way you can decorate them, they also come with a tape that you can use in order to mount them onto the wall. We didn't use that tape, we used 3M tape, and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. But let's get started. So for the ones that have names, such as my Seattle Washington, my Grand Canyon, my Zion National Park in Sedona, those usually go for around eight bucks. With the one that says ELAC, that's the name of the community college that I graduated from. I got it when I, after I graduated. Obviously the Golden Gate Bridge, that one came out to around 10 or 12 bucks. And then I have these tiny ones right here. The rocket ship from the National Air and Space Museum, the National Art Gallery from when I went to Washington DC. Um, and then this big one in the middle, this one's one of my favorites. It's Bigfoot from Oregon. He rounded up to around 10 or 12 bucks, but I love him. He is so cute and I've been wanting to own a Bigfoot pin for quite a while now. So, let's move on to the next one. So this pin board is actually my boyfriend's pin, but I put it with the rest of my pins as well. His pins are a good collection. I've either gotten them for him or he's gotten them himself. So as you know, it is there's a bunch of random ones like Bob's Burgers, some Rick and Morty's, Pickle Rick. This one I actually really do love. It's blue from Jurassic World. This one was a gift that he had gotten from one of his best friends. It's a really funny take on Mario because they actually love Mario. There's these collabs. I'll have to put the name of the creators in the bottom, but if you notice, this is supposed to be um, the Joker with a clash on. Oh, Crest of the Clown. Um, then there is the Simpsons grandpa. And he's supposed to be the older version of Obi-Wan. And then there's this one. So it's Rick from Rick and Morty, and he's also a collab as Link. If you know the video game, then you know. This one's actually really unique. It's from this burger joint that we really enjoy. I got it for him afterwards. 
when he had first taken me and I could not help because those burgers are delicious. If you've heard of Grilla Mall in Alhambra, please, please try them out. They're so good. Let's move on to the next one. So here's a board that I have of a bunch of random pins that I really love. They were either from a cartoon or just a collab on something. So let's get started. Each of these pins I know were about 10 bucks, maybe nine. If you know, then you know. This is from the Sunny family. It's from the Crypt on YouTube. I got this one because Old WWF wrestlers just remind me of my godfather, the ultimate warrior. I got these two from ice cream joints that I really love. So there's the cool house and this one, I cannot remember the name. I'll have to look it up later on. I bought these two Mr. Rogers pins when his movie head came out because it was just a sense of nostalgia. Uh, each of those pins were around nine bucks. So it's Mr. Rogers himself in the trolley. I got this one because I like Harry Potter. This one was actually a gift from my little brother. He is so sweet. It's the Pokemon Solgaleo, I think. I had to remember the name because how could I not if, my, if it was a gift from my little brother, brother. And then this one obviously is my favorite. It's Jurassic Walk. So it's a take on avocados and Jurassic World, which I do love. Uh, I know that one for sure was around, I think 13 or 14 bucks so worth it here's my next pin board so this one's not yet built it's it's almost there but you'll see why so this one is just Batman Spongebob and the Rugrats so that's actually Reptar, and the gorilla, if you know his name, then oh my goodness, hands to you. If you don't, his name is Thorg. Not a lot of people remember, not a lot of people remember his name from the Rugrats. And then I have my Spongebobs. Spongebob ripped his pants, Band Geek, the Suds, and of course, Doodle Bob. And I cannot have a pin board without Bartman or Batman. I've been a fan of Batman for as long as I can remember, so I definitely need more pins on him. If you can, if you know the best Batman pins, please comment where I can get them from. I either go to different shops, different events, uh, anywhere I can go, I will, and if it's, if it catches my eye, I will buy it. Each of these I know were for sure around $10. We're almost there, people. So here's another board that I have of random cartoon, random pins that I love. So the on the top left, it's the Terranium. I have these top three are actually associated with a really good friend of mine. This one is Bigfoot. Um, when we went on a trip to Oregon together, she had gotten it for me. And this one is a terranium. It reminds me of her because she's in love with plants. She has like a whole garden in her front yard and she just needs more room. This one is a pin that I bought for both of us. She and I um, do like Adventure Time and we do like Marceline and Bubblegum. We are not Marceline and Bubblegum princess, but we're good friends just like them. The These three in the middle, if you know where this is from, oh my goodness. So these are the um, eels and escalator dice from Spongebob. This is the Dutchman's treasure that Mr. Crab gets. So this is how tiny the treasure is. Uh, the middle one was a gift for my boyfriend for a zombie version of the Little Mermaid because he knows that's my favorite princess. These bottom three are just very unique. I found this at a pin convention, how unicorns are unique. A pin from the National History Museum. And this pin is a representation of a very important person in my life. Someone who's very important since the day they were born. I love you.
All right, everyone, this is my last board. So this is my anime board. It's one of my favorites. So the top two pins are, of course, Dragon Ball Z. The one on the left is the four-star Dragon Ball. The one on the right is obviously one of the most unique Dragon Ball symbols there is. If you don't know what it is, it's Kai House. Um, then the middle three, this one, this one, and this one are some of my most unique favorites. Actually, this whole board is my favorite. My Hero, Spirited Away. These two are just the most adorable versions of Sailor Moon there is. Another Spirited Away um, in the little salon temple. This one is one of the biggest pins that I've owned. It was a gift. It's a villain from My Hero Academia. Her name is Himiko Toga. Oh my goodness, it's huge, honestly. It's one of my most favorite pins. I know this thing costs more than 20 bucks. Oh my goodness, I love it. And then this pin, this pin is my absolute most favorite pin I have in all of my collection of pins. So if you know Dragon Ball and if you know Adventure Time, then you will definitely know this pin. So this pin is actually a collab on Dragon Ball Goku himself. And instead of writing his Nimbus, He's actually riding Lumpy Space Princess, and I cannot help but laugh and smile every time I see this pin. It was a gift for my boyfriend, and it's one of the first pins he's ever gotten me. All right, everyone, now that you've all taken a look at all the pins that I collect, all the pins that I've bought, and all the pins that I have, I've rounded them all up. And unfortunately, so it's a little bit more than I expected. <laughs> Some of the, my boards at least round up to $100 itself. That's at least four of them. The other two are around 90 bucks. So honestly, my pins round up to over $500. And I'm not surprised, but I just never thought about it before. Even though they round up to that much, I wouldn't return them. I wouldn't exchange them. I, I, I would I'm keeping my pins, obviously. Um, but they represent who I am. Things that I love, who I am as a person, and I I love pins, what can I say? If any of you know any really good pin places that are selling, even with what's going on right now, I usually go to shops, I usually go to conventions, but the small little shops I go to are closed, conventions are being canceled because of what's going on right now, and Usually I rely on Etsy, but Etsy's even, uh, Etsy's really good though, but some people, you know, they run out of their pins so fast. So if any of you know any really good pin places that are still selling or have a good amount, please let me know and I will hop on uh, to their webpage and start buying. I know I have a pin problem, but it's my collection, it's what I do. So that's actually all for today. Thank you for joining me and listening my listening to me about my pins. Please don't judge me on how much money I spent on them. And just, I'll see you all next week. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you're all doing safe. And I'll see you all next Friday, actually. So have a good one. See you next week.